lady. Those quarians never stood a chance. This is gonna be one tough son of a bitch to take down. Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. And we are back with more of Mass Effect 2. This is Hill. And we are here on an undisclosed Cerberus station somewhere in the depths of space. About to meet with the elusive man for the first time. Let's go. I think we are going to go ahead and go to this armor locker and customize our gear before we go any further. Um, he's going to be anti-Cerberus for the time being and wear this very ugly looking outfit. And as far as the armor goes, I think we just want to change the texture of it. and the tent and we'll put some red highlights on it too okay let's just see what uh, properties this particular suit of armor gives him so it increases weapon damage by 3% that's the shoulders the chest piece increases power damage by 3% the gauntlets increase health by three, and the legs shield strength by three. Okay, I know there are some other armors that we could probably get, but we'll, we'll look at that later on. We'll just go with these changes here, and it's time to go talk to the elusive man. Shepard. Elusive man. I thought we'd be meeting face to face. Unnecessary precaution. Not unusual for people who know what you and I know. And what exactly is it that you and I know? That our place in the universe is more fragile than we'd like to think. That one man, one very specific man, might be all that stands between humanity and the greatest threat of our brief existence. The Reapers. Good to see your memory still intact. How are you feeling? Cut to the chase. What are the Reapers doing that made you decide to bring me back? We're at war. No one wants to admit it, but humanity is under attack. While you've been sleeping, entire colonies have been disappearing. Human colonies. We believe it's someone working for the Reapers, just as Saren and the Geth aided Sovereign. You've seen it yourself. You bested all of them. That's just one reason we chose you. Let's see what we can find out about Cerberus. Fighting a war doesn't seem like Cerberus. Why are you involved? We're committed to the advancement and preservation of humanity. If the Reapers are targeting us, trying to wipe us out, Cerberus will stop them. If we wait for politicians or the Alliance to act, no more human colonies will be left. Let's find out more about the abductions. Sovereign was trying to harvest all life in the galaxy. Why would the Reapers target a few human colonies? Hundreds of thousands of colonists have vanished. I'd say that fits the definition of harvesting. Nobody's paying attention because it's random, and the attacks occur in remote locations. I don't know why they've suddenly targeted humanity. Maybe you got their attention when you killed one of them. Right, let's see about Alliance aid. If this is a threat against humanity, you need to mobilize the Alliance. The Alliance is overwhelmed by the responsibility you gave them. 
They're too busy building relations to put resources into verifying the Reaper threat. Blaming the abductions on mercs and pirates is easier and more convenient. Why me? You could have trained an entire army for what you spent to bring me back. You're unique. Not just in ability or what you've experienced, but in what you represent. You stood for humanity at a key moment. You're more than a soldier. You're a symbol. And I don't know if the Reapers understand fear, but you killed one. They have to respect that. If what you say is true, if the Reapers are behind this, I'd consider helping you. I'd be disappointed if you accepted any of this without seeing for yourself. I have a shuttle ready to take you to Freedom's Progress, the latest colony to be abducted. Miranda and Jacob will brief you. Hmm. Shepard definitely has his trust issues. Miranda killed Wilson in cold blood. Jacob's just a gun for hire. You expect me to trust them? Wilson was one of my best agents, but he was a traitor. Miranda did exactly what I expected of her, and she saved your life in more ways than one. Jacob's a soldier, one of the best. He's never fully trusted me, but he's always been honest about it. You'll be just fine with them. For now. What do you think I'll find there? If I knew that, I wouldn't need to send you. Find any clues you can. Who's abducting the colonies? Do they have any connection to the Reapers? I brought you back. It's up to you to do the rest. Ooh, level six. I didn't know we'd gone up that high already, but I guess that's what we get for uh, coming in at level 60. All right, we didn't get to ask the important question, though, of the elusive man. Was he responsible for the death of Admiral Kahoku? in Mass Effect 1. I guess we won't know for a while. Next time, make sure that he asks. Alright. I think I need to stop making these neutral choices. I didn't really get a lot of uh, renegade out of this. Okay. Let's go ahead and talk with Miranda. The elusive man is very impressed with you. I'm eager to see if you can live up to his expectations on this mission. I can't have anyone disobeying my commands when we get there. I know who I report to. As long as you don't do anything to betray Cerberus, I'll follow your orders. What's the matter, Lawson? Worried you're not his favorite anymore? I've proven my value to the elusive man. Let's hope you're able to do the same. Mm-mm. Are you naturally this bitchy, or is it just me? I have the utmost respect for your abilities, Shepard. It's your motivations that concern me. I believe in what Cerberus stands for. Only time will tell if you prove to be an asset or a liability to our cause. All right, let's do a little investigation here. Let's see what Miranda has to say about herself. Tell me a little about yourself. Worried about my qualifications? I can crush a mech with my biotics or shoot its head off at a hundred yards. Take your pick. Did you and Jacob serve together in the Alliance? No. The elusive man recognized my potential and recruited me at a young age. How old were you? Old enough to know this is what I wanted. Hmm. I was trying to get to know you as a human being. I'm not looking for a friend, Shepard. Stay focused on the mission. Hmm. Okay. What can you tell me about this colony we're going to? Freedom's Progress? It's a typical human settlement in the Terminus systems. They had a small military force for protection supplemented by mechs and security drones. Average in almost every way, really. Completely unremarkable. Until the disappearance. Any thoughts on what we might run into there? A lot of empty buildings and one giant mystery. I'd like to know more about the Lazarus Project from the person in charge. I wasn't in charge. The elusive man was. If I was running the show, would have done a few things differently. Hmm, okay. Like what? What would you have changed? To start, I would have implanted you with some type of control chip. But the elusive man wouldn't allow it. He was afraid it might affect your personality, alter your character somehow. He wouldn't let us do anything that might limit your potential in any way. <laughs> yeah. 
Can't say I like the idea of being brought back to life with a control chip in my brain. The elusive man is taking an incredible risk with you. I just hope his gamble pays off. All right, I think that's it. It's obvious you're not interested in talking. We've got an assignment. We can talk about it or we can do it. All right. Let's go ahead and talk with Jacob. I'm glad the elusive man convinced you to join us, Commander. Cerberus gave me my body back. That's worth giving them a chance. One chance. But you're still not convinced. Do you trust me, Commander? Hell no. Not just no, but hell no. You're part of Cerberus. I'll be keeping an eye on you, too. Fair enough. I can't expect you to trust me just because I ask you. I'll just have to earn that trust. Damn right. All right, let's do some investigation. Why did you join Cerberus? I guess I just got tired of never making a difference. So much of what we did in the Alliance seemed pointless. I thought things would change after the attack on the Citadel. The old council was dead, and humanity took control of the new one. But nothing changed. Politics, bureaucracy, same bullshit, different leaders. Cerberus is different. When colonies go missing, we don't commission a team to write a report to figure out what the hell to do about it. We just go and find out. You said you served in the Alliance? Five years in total. Stationed all over the galaxy. Even spent a couple of years as a Corsair. I've never heard of the Corsairs. It was an Alliance initiative. They hired independent starship captains and used them for missions that fell outside official Alliance jurisdiction. Technically, we weren't part of the Alliance. If we ever got caught, they could disavow any knowledge of us. We were supposed to be free from restrictions and rules. But there was still enough red tape to sink a cruiser. I finally just gave up. Do you know anything about this colony we're going to? It's called Freedom's Progress. Don't know much else. I guess we'll find out when we get there. Alright, I guess that's it then. That's all for now. <clears throat> yes, sir. Alright, we got a little more Renegade. Okay, I guess I need to spend these points. It's gonna keep bugging me about this. So, got a little bit more Renegade than we do Paragon. All right, so... I do want to put points in Biotic Mastery so that we can decrease our recharge times, increase our health. Gee, I might just go for this just outright. I don't know. Put all the points in it. That's a little bit uh, bold. Wow, I can all I can become a bastion or nemesis this early in the game. Um, we were a bastion in the last game, and we'll continue being one. Let's hope. Let's just hope that I can get away with having one point in Warp and Singularity for the time being. Okay, so let's, uh, how do I get, oh, I guess they're not a part of my squad yet that I can assign powers to Miranda and Jacob. All right, well, we'll go with this then. Full power, okay. It's probably not the way to, to customize your shepherd at the very first mission, but let, let's see what's going to happen. All right, it's time to get out of here. Ooh. All right, let's go ahead and close the report and keep moving. Freedom's progress, here we come. We should be there shortly, Shepard. The elusive man put us under your command. Do you have any orders?
Are you sure you'll be comfortable following my orders? We didn't bring you back from the dead just to second guess you, Commander. If the elusive man says you're in charge, you're in charge. What makes you think this investigation will turn up anything new? At other colonies, official investigators got there first. Sometimes looters or salvage teams as well. We're hoping to be the first ones there this time. Maybe find clues before somebody else disturbs the scene. What did you find at the other colonies? Nothing. No signs of attack, no corpses, not even a trace of unusual genetic material to give us a clue. They just disappear. And we've got no target to go after. We're gonna find out who did this and take him down. Nothing gets in our way. Am I clear? Perfectly, Commander. Good to have you here, Shepard. See, and this, this was the beauty of Mass Effect 2. These cutscenes, these transitions, the linear missions. I mean, I know that, you know, games nowadays, they want to have open world and all this kind of stuff. But this is what worked. This is what made Mass Effect so special. Bioware, please take note. Forget these open world games and these games as a service. Now, this is art. Mass Effect 2 was art. I mean, it's brilliant. The stories, the motivations of these characters. This is the type of gaming we need to return to. Okay. Let me go ahead before I get too carried away. All right, Jacob. What can we give you? Okay, it doesn't look like we're going to get pull feel this early. Okay, and Miranda, I know for you, your buffs as a Cerberus operative are the most important thing. Cerberus officer, whatever you are. Alright, so we'll go with this. I think I'm going to go ahead and put up another point in overload. Okay. This is going to work. All right, as far as weapons go... Hmm, the shuriken. Oh, wow. Jacob has the, the Geth plasma shotgun already? And what are you carrying? Shuriken as well? Or the phalanx? All right, um... And what is this other pistol? The Predator. That's what that thing was. All right, we will all go with, um shurikens and you with your geth rifle let's go or shotgun whatever that thing is looks like everyone just got up and left right in the middle of dinner one thing I did forget to do save early and often something move strange no bodies no structural damage and no signs of battle here. Uh-oh. Security systems were disabled at the other colony. Enemies in front! Ah! Uh. Uh. 
Those mechs shouldn't have been hostile. They should have recognized us as human. Someone reprogrammed them to attack on sight. We're not alone here. Okay, we made it through this. Gel and a puzzle. Here we go. Got it. Okay. We've been spotted. There we go. Okay, guys, not bad. Did I, I guess I got those spare parts just in the nick of time, okay? What else have we got over here? any chances with Cerberus operatives. Put those weapons down! Shepard? Is that... you're alive? Dalizora, you served on my ship. You know what I do to people who threaten me. Praza, tell your team to put their weapons away. Damn it, Tali, this is bullshit. Why would your own commander work for Cerberus? I don't know, but if this is Shepard, I don't know. Shepard would have a reason. I know Cerberus has a bad past, but they're the only group investigating these missing colonies. The Council turned its back on humanity. I haven't. Tali, you aren't seriously considering trusting Cerberus? I'm not trusting anyone, Praza. But we're going to need help searching the area. One of our people was here on pilgrimage. His name was Vitor. We came to find him. Everyone else is dead. What makes you think Vitor survived? We saw him when we landed. You saw him? Then why isn't he with you already? Vitor was injured, and he was always, uh, nervous. She means that he was unstable. Combine that with damage to his suit CO2 scrubbers and an infection from an open-air exposure, and he's likely delirious. When he saw us landing, he hid in a warehouse on the far side of town. We suspect he also programmed the mechs to attack anything that moved. You should head back to your ship, Tally. We'll let you know when we find Vitor. Like hell. I'm not letting Cerberus take over. Neither am I, Praza. I don't want to fight you, Shepard. But I can't just let Cerberus handle this. Besides, we need to work together. Head for the warehouse through the center of the colony. We'll circle around the far side and draw off some of the drones to clear you a path. Uh-huh. Why? Your people really don't like Cerberus. What did I miss? They killed our people infiltrated our flotilla and tried to blow up one of our ships. That's not how I'd have explained it exactly. It was nothing personal. We can argue over who killed who later. Right now we've got a job to do. Agreed. We work together to get to Vitor. Hmm. It is Tally, though. We're, we're not gonna be brutally uh, disrespectful to her. Make sure to keep in radio contact. Will do. Good luck, Shepard. See you on the far side. Okay. As you can see, uh, Shepard's face is starting to become transfigured uh, due to his renegade choices. Be careful, Shepard. There's a squad of security drones uh -oh. up ahead. Look at them. Thanks for the warning. We'll take care of them. Compromise. 
Alright, we've got another puzzle here. mod though that uh, what is it no mini games it just solves the thing instantly but it conflicted with this uh, controller support so controller is more important to me use overload on them about overload Miranda thank you there we go you're done Shepard Proza and his squad rushed on ahead I told them to wait but they wouldn't listen they want to find Vitor and take him away before you get here we should have expected this come on we can still catch them okay we got more meta gel Take cover by the doors. Shepard, you take point. Wait. I thought I was the one giving the orders, Miranda. Did you tell me what to do? Alright, fan out take and point, search. Shepherd. No, we'll the door. search the area. Okay, we've got more ammo, and look at this. Some salvage we'll take cover parts by the doors. we would have missed point. if I listened to you guys. All right, come on. Oh, look, meta gel. I don't know how many of these we can hold. Take point, Shepard. We'll cover the door. Okay. Right. Understood. <clears throat> we'll take up. This is going to be one tough son of a bitch to take down. Overload will take. All right, we got the shields off. 
Randall. Let's warp it. Look out. So there is a benefit to having my uh, the full recharge abilities. Ooh, heavy weapon ammo. Okay, it's a little late though. Credits are going up. Okay, I think we've got everything here. Uh, let's see. Are these all dead quarians? Oh, they are. Wow. Not good, not good. Tally? This is your chance to go find Vitor while I tend to the wounded, Shepard. Okay. He's probably somewhere in the back of the loathing bay. All right. Okay, we've got... Now what's this? Have more heavy weapon ammo? Okay. And what's this? Iridium, okay. All right. Monsters coming back. Mex will protect. Safe from swarms. Have to hide. No monsters. No swarms. No, 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 no. Vitor? No, Vitor. Not here. Swarms can't find. Monsters coming. Have to hide. Hey, I'm talking to you. Great. We come all this way and our only witness is a babbling idiot. Swarm's coming. Storm coming. Storm of swarms. Uh -uh. You're... not one of them. You're human. They... they didn't find you? Who didn't find us? The... the monsters. The swarms. They took everyone. Why didn't the colonists fight back, Vitor? What happened? You don't know. You didn't see. But I see everything. Looks like security footage. He must have pieced it together manually. What the hell is that? My god. I think it's a collector. Is that some kind of alien? They're a species from somewhere beyond the Omega-4 relay. Only a few people have ever seen one in person. They usually work through intermediaries, like slavers or hired mercenaries. If they're involved with the Reapers somehow, it could explain what happened to the colonies. The Collectors have advanced technology. They could have a weapon that disables an entire settlement at once. The Seeker swarms. No one can hide. The Seekers find you. Freeze you, then the monsters take you away. I want to know more about the Collectors. Nobody knows much. They're so rare a lot of people don't even believe they exist. More importantly, why are they abducting human colonists? What are they after? Maybe the elusive man can figure it out. Tell me more about these swarms. It's how they find you. Seeker clouds. Machines like tiny insects. They go everywhere. They find you. Then they sting you. Freeze you. Sounds like miniature probes, maybe. Find victims, then immobilize them with a stasis field or nerve toxin. 
Why didn't the Collectors take you? Swarms didn't find me. Monsters didn't know I was here. The Collectors aren't known for being careless. Maybe his Enviro suit kept him from showing up on their sensors. Or they were using technology specifically designed to detect humans. Only human colonies have been hit. What happened next? The monsters took the people onto the ship, and then they left. The ship flew away. But they'll be back for me. No one escapes. I think that's probably all we're getting out of him, Commander. We appreciate what you told us. You were very helpful. I studied them. The monsters. The swarms. I recorded them with my Omni-Tool. Lots of readings. Electromagnetic. Dark energy. We need to get this data to the elusive man. Grab the quarry and call the shuttle to come pick us up. What? Vitor is injured. He needs treatment, not an interrogation. We won't hurt him. We just need to see if he knows anything else. He'll be returned unharmed. Your people tried to betray us once already. If we give him to you, we'll never get the intel we need. Praza was an idiot, and he and his men paid for it. You're welcome to take Vitor's Omnitool data, but please, just let me take him. I'd like Tally to join us. You don't have to take Vitor and go. We could work together, just like old times. I'm still trying to accept that you're even alive, and you're with Cerberus. I've got responsibilities now. I've got a mission of my own. I can't walk away from that. Not even for you. All right, I'm going to metagame here for a moment. I know that if we give Vitor to Cerberus, that is a really bad thing. Really bad. So, we're not going to give Vitor to Cerberus. He's traumatized and he needs medical care. Tally will give us the Omnitool data and take him to the flotilla. Understood, Commander. Thank you, Shepard. I'm glad you're still the one giving the orders. Good luck out there. If I find anything that can help you, I'll let you know. We're ready for pickup. Shepard, good work on Freedom's progress. The Quarians forwarded their findings from Vidor's debriefing. No new data, but it's a surprising olive branch given our history. You and I have different methods, but I can't argue with your results. The data from his Omnitool should be quite useful. We're still analyzing it. But more importantly, you confirm the Collectors are behind the abductions. Tell me what you know about these Collectors. They periodically travel to the Terminus systems, looking to gather seemingly unimportant items or specimens, usually in exchange for their technology. When their transactions are complete, they disappear as quickly as they arrived, back beyond the unmapped Omega-4 relay. Until now, we've had no evidence of direct aggression by the Collectors. Why is the Omega-4 relay unmapped? What do we know about it? Only that no ship passing through it has ever returned. Our best guess is that the Relay reacts differently to Collector vessels, allowing them safe passage. If they can manipulate Relays, that's just further evidence of the connection with the Reapers. Any ideas on why they've shifted their focus to humans? If they're agents for the Reapers, it could be any number of reasons. Obviously, humanity played a huge role in Sovereign's destruction. That might have been enough to draw their attention. What really concerns me is why they bother abducting the colonists. Once the humans are paralyzed, why not just kill them? Hmm, that's a very good question. Unfortunately, I know the answer. Let's find out about these transactions. What are the Collectors getting from these deals? The Collectors aren't very forthcoming about their motives. Generally, they seek out species with rare genetic mutations or abnormalities. They pay slavers and work groups exorbitant sums to obtain these specimens, and then they leave. But they'd never targeted a single species before, and the previous sample sizes were in the dozens, not the tens of thousands. Hmm. I really want to say this, but I know this is going to dilute my, my renegade, but I, I've got to know. What aren't you telling me? You're holding something back. How do you know the Reapers are involved? The patterns are there, buried in the data. 
The Council and the Alliance want to believe the Reaper threat died with Sovereign. You and I know better. I won't wait until the Reapers are on the march. We need to take the fight to them. I hate waiting, but I'll need a team. A good one. I've already compiled a list of soldiers, scientists, and mercenaries. You'll get dossiers on the best of them. Finding them and convincing them to work with you could be challenging, but you're a natural leader. I'll continue to track the collectors. When they make their next appearance, I'll notify you and your team. Be ready. Um, you were a specter. I'm still a specter. Maybe I can get the council to help us out. If you think you could convince them, by all means. Just remember, you've been gone a long time. Things have changed. What about your old team? Keep your list. I want people I trust. The ones who helped me stop Saren and the Geth. That was two years ago, Commander. Most of them have moved on, or their allegiances have changed. What about Tally? She already helped us on Freedom's Progress. That was unexpected. I need more intel before I'll commit to that. Oh, really? So, okay, let's find out about Rex. Where's Erdnot Rex? He returned to Chichanka, and he hasn't gone off-world in over a year. He's trying to unite the Krogan clans. What about Caden? Where's Caden Olenko? He's still with the Alliance. Promoted, I believe. His file is surprisingly well classified. Garrus. Where's Garrus Vakari? The Turian disappeared a few months after you were declared dead. Even we haven't been able to locate him. And Liara. Where's Liara Tassoni? She's on Ilium. My sources say that she's working for the Shadow Broker. If so, she can't be trusted. Hmm. Okay. Okay, I get it. They're not available. You're a leader, Shepard. You'll get who you need. You worry about the Collectors. I'll make sure my team's ready. Good. Two things before you go. First, head to Omega and find Morden Solus. He's a brilliant Solarian scientist. Our intelligence suggests he may know how to counteract the Collector's paralyzing Seeker swarms. Sounds good. What else? I found a pilot I think you might like. I hear he's one of the best. Someone you can trust. Hey, Commander. Just like old times, huh? I can't believe it's you, Joker. <laughs> Look who's talking. I saw you get spaced. Got lucky, with a lot of strings attached. How'd you get here? It all fell apart without you, Commander. Everything you stirred up, the Council just wanted it gone. The team was broken up, record sealed, and I was grounded. The Alliance took away the one thing that mattered to me. Hell yeah, I joined Cerberus. You really trust the elusive man? Well, I don't trust anyone who makes more than I do. But they aren't all bad. Saved your life, let me fly, and there's this. They only told me last night. We'll have to give her a name. There's only one name for her. She's beautiful. <laughs> oh my goodness. I've actually leveled up, so I've just gained some more points.
right, well, that will do it for Freedom's Progress, the reuniting of Shepard and Joker and the Normandy, and we will continue with more of Mass Effect 2 in our next episode. This is Hill, and I'm out. <laughs>